Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. My second upload today, we're going to react to Graham Jones' final press conference as a Newcastle interim manager. It's quite an interesting one, this one. A lot happens in it, but uh, yeah, as always, you are new to the channel. We are just under 200 subscribers away from 12,000 now, so thank you so much. Yes, I will be a bright away tomorrow. There'll be plenty of videos for that, so all day I'll be down there. But uh, in terms of tonight, you know, it's bonfire night. I thought I'd get this video out now just before all the stuff going off. Thank you for all the comments earlier on in the video. I will reply to them all once I get a chance, literally a sec this video goes up. But uh, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button. Let me know your thoughts down below. But anyway, though, what does Graham Jones talk about in his final stint as the manager? First off, we will look at the team selection for tomorrow. Everyone is available apart from Paul Dummett. So no excuses whatsoever. We have got to go down to Brighton and got to try and win the game. Yes, we have more all season long, but Brighton have been quite on and off lately. The duo loss, in my opinion, the way they've been playing. Uh, yes, they got a great draw and few last week, but still low. Not been playing well last few weeks. I feel like Newcastle, we have got to be taking advantage of them. Uh, defensively, we are a shambles, so we have got to be go uh, going forward. I mean, Sir Max, for the last couple of days, has been quite off, so he has to turn up. Callum Wilson, not had any service, to be fair, so you can't really blame him, but... As a team tomorrow, we have got to go for it. Uh, Graham Jones, the way he played last couple of matches was a five back and we just sit way too deep. Uh, I'm not happy at all with where we play the pitch. Uh, we just sit too far back. We've got to be pushing up more. Yes, we are five back, but I mean, it's, it's a joke. The five back that sits on the edge of the box. We've got to be further up. The, the yards are too far back. We've got to be going further up. But uh, yeah, no excuses tomorrow, though. The full team, apart from Paul Dunn, will be there. So... Yeah, uh, in terms of changes, I expect Percy. I expect uh, De Bruyne to go back and go for Doric. He had a stinker against Chelsea. In terms of the rest, though, I don't think there'll be many changes at all, if any. So, yeah, I think it'll be really similar score once again, which I disagree with. When talking about Eddie High, Graham Jones seems to take a little bit of a dig, uh, according to a lot of people on Twitter here. So, yeah, pretty much saying that they don't take part time as Eddie Castle, which I do feel like is a dick towards Steve Bruce, and I'll tell you why just now. But, uh, Pretty much during the international break, especially in Newcastle, they trained half the time we should really. Uh, we trained four times in two weeks, shouldn't you, national break? And bear in mind, we have three international players going away this time. I mean, the the numbers are not that big, so really we should be training. And not only that, during the international break, Steve Bruce went on holiday. So again, a bit of animosity you could say during that. And in terms of the Twitter comments here, a lot of people do seem to think that I was a dick towards Steve Bruce. But uh, again, it's a double meaning. Some people might think it is, some people might think it's nothing, but... Yeah, interesting though uh, how he worded it there, but the point is though, I mean, the players are going to be training four or five times a week, which just should really, they're Premier League football players, people are college football who train four times a week, so there's no excuses for the Castle players not doing that before, and it really was disgraceful by Steve Bruce, the amount of times that the Castle did train, but uh, that's all in the past though, he is gone, fingers crossed he'll not be my thumbnail, not be in any of my videos anytime soon, but uh, yeah, I still feel like he'll probably make a dodgy comment now and again, but the main part is he's gone, no, Eddie Howe. I mean, the difference of mentality between the two is that Steve Bruce played not to lose, whereas Eddie Howe plays to win. That's the difference between the two. And, uh, yeah, you can say what you want about the managers, but the mentality is there. Uh, we just got to make sure the team's going to be there. One problem I would say Eddie Howe is that he's quite an attacking minded manager, which is good in the sense that we actually play good football and try to score goals. But defensively, under Bournemouth, he conceded a lot of goals, and we already have conceded a lot of goals this season. So if our attack is off in the game, we're going to pretty much lose the match no matter what. So yeah, I think that's always something we've got to be keeping an eye on. But I'm confident the attack, though the attack is up there with some of the best sort of mid table, top half of the league, I would say. So yeah, I do. I'm confident that we can get a lot of wins with the attack, but defensively we're still a shambles and I don't see that changing under a new manager. But the best way to defend is attack though, which is kind of what I've seen it. Finally, look at Graham Jones's comments on Eddie Howe and Jason Tindo. Kind of what you expect them to say, really got a lot of experience looking forward to working with them. But yeah, again, the Bournemouth links are there. They have never worked together though, in terms of people saying that they've never ever done that. But in terms of the Bournemouth players, there will be links there. Uh, Ryan Fraser doesn't like Eddie Howe, but we'll see what happens between the two of them. But uh, anyway, though, in terms of his stats of Bournemouth, though, Eddie Howe, I mean, goal scored wise looks great. Defensively, though, I mean, Bournemouth have always been a quite an aggressive side, I know, but you got to respect for the fact that they won, what, League 2 less than 10 years ago. So, yeah, uh, interesting to say the least. Though, uh, it's an aggressive minded team. I would love to see like Celeste Sells play this sort of style because I really don't think they could cut it, but. You'll see what happens, always see what happens with them, but anyway, though, in terms of your appointment, though, I expect it to be made on Sunday or Monday. Uh, I don't think it got made tonight, and in terms of Saturday, I'm not getting made in the match day, so. I want Sunday or the Monday, I presume, so. 
I'll be at the training ground the second he's there. First time he's there, I will be at the training ground. But again, no match tomorrow, women's football on Sunday. There'll be vlogs on the channel daily. In terms of next week, there'll probably only be one uh, video a day on the channel just due to the fact it's international break. But still plenty to go on though. So make sure you subscribe, guys, if you're new. Cheers for the support as always. And yes, I'll see you on the next one.